Hello, all my friends. I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. In front of me, I got one X Vita from JZM. This one orange color, high touchy. Uh, it is not original from the factory. We did some customize. We put double pump and still not finish all the upgrades. But I will show you which kind of upgrades you like. You can tell me. We will do it. Okay, let's first put the battery and run it to see. You see the arrangement is very nice, so we got many space left inside. This battery is already very big, but still empty, you see. Can change a much more big battery to use. Okay, go to the cover, we will run it. Uh, for light and sound system, we will upgrade later. Now we will see the basic function. Running, left track. This function is very simple, only three channels for the arm and the bucket. Okay. Let's turn to this side, I will show you the pump. Top cover and the side cover open. You will see double pump. This pump and this, this one is for the big boom, this one is for the small arm and the bucket, so it is separately. Okay, we will first start one, uh, one of the pump, you see, this one start, this one should be for the big boom, let's arrive it. Okay, we will start this pump now. Stop. We will start another one. You can see this one now is turning. Okay, let's run. That's for the uh, small arm and the bucket. Okay, we will start both the pump and running all the functions. Okay, first pump start. Let's lock the door, running it. This arm is quite long enough. Okay, we will. We have like we are picking up some mark. The good thing for double pump is that we got enough power 
the control the arm, big arm, back hip, all the same time. So while you, for an experienced buyer, a player, he will know when he operating with the other single palm, if you want to offer the big arm, small arm, back hit all the same time will be slow and sometimes one of the motion will be stuck. But for this one double palm, it is enough oil float, it will not stuck and stop. And uh, for this pump, it is an uh, imported one from Italy. It is, you see the size is big, so the flow, it is a big flow and got all the power to make all the motions, the, all the cylinder moving fast and uh, without stuck. I will light up so you can see inside. Here's a pump on top, got one gauge. Here is a suction line, suction line. And uh, this suction line got come from there. I will take out the battery. Maybe you will see all the what all the chamber inside. Okay. So let's see here. So the bottom two, you see the two black wire, black holes. These two are for suction. These are for return line. Mm, and this other one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, four wire uh, holes, it's all for return line. So from here, you can see the oil levels because here is the oil tank. Mostly, we should put this one at a high level because when two pump running, it's suction very fast. Sometimes, maybe running short of suction if the level is not enough. Okay, so here, as you see from uh, this side, let's turn it. From this side, you will see the pressure gauge. And uh, the pressure release valve, well, it is together with the pump. Here you can adjust the pressure. By screw inside half turn, one turn, you will increase the pressure from the system. But not to increase too much, you know, maybe burst out the hose. Okay, normally it's around 3.5 bar in the system for the pressure. Okay, so from the back side here, you see three, chan three channels for the servo. So that's a big boom, small arm and bucket. So only three servo and uh, here the distribution well here. So the good thing is this actuator we got enough space to do upgrades as you like. You can put uh, light system inside sound system. You can put the smoking system. You can put two or three distribution valve more with servo, so can add more functions with the hydraulic control. Okay, that's the good of this one. Now it is only the basic functions. Yeah, so here is the turning motor. It's all metal cover. It's a cute and a strong one. So the distribution valve, uh, distribution valve the hose connect to all the arm. So here we have got the copper pipe. Then connect with the hose again. Goes to the the boom, the small arm, the boom down there. Big two cylinder. So one more cylinder for the bucket. Yeah, so this one got no quick uh, release, but can do the upgrades. As I said, there are enough space to put more distribution well than the servos. Okay, so let's see a little bit the details. Here you see inside the ESC receiver, the wires connections, it is all well arranged. See how nice it is. So still got many places to put what you want to upgrade. Yeah. Okay, let's see here got the cabin. The cabin door could be open. See what is inside. It is a simple one. Okay, this cabin is plastic. Yeah. But only the cabin plastic, the hose. And uh, other parts, it's all metal. Let me see. The leather, the, the handrail, it's all metal. So 
very nice. Only plastic is the cabin, the hose, other parts is the chassis, this is the stainless steel, the bridge, so the main body cover is all metal. So this side we got one more this space for our box. This is fixed. So here got one box, the mirror. There's another door here. This is for the pump. So okay. That's all for this actuator. We have done this uh, double pump, especially for experienced player who want to play more quick, more smoothly without stuck any to, to operate the, all the motions of hydraulic system at the same time. You will definitely choose this double pump system. Okay, let's do this. Thank you very much for what you like to upgrade with this one. Oh, oh. One more thing, this haven't put the cooler yet, but should put the cooler, yeah. As we, as we know this too big pump when running, got so much heat, you are becoming hot very quickly. So let the battery also put a uh, well-functioned cooler. And what else is your suggestions for this one? Welcome to talk to me anytime. Thank you very much. I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. See you again.